Consider for a moment your relationship to your mobile phone. Your device is a constant companion. It's with you 24-7. Maybe it's the last thing you see when you go to sleep at night. Maybe it's the first thing you touch when you wake up in the morning. It's with you as you eat breakfast or go to conferences or take vacations with your family. You might feel an emotional despair when you leave your phone in a cab or the screen breaks. I mean, many of you right now are lovingly caressing your phones, even as I'm talking about this. No value judgments. It's not bad, but it's new. I, I do think that this relationship that we have with our phones is something different. The phone extends our capability to communicate, to learn, to tap into some bigger system that is beyond our capacity to fully comprehend. And in return, our phones gain meaning through us. We personalize them with our data, and we literally smear these screens with our microbiome, dead skin cells, dirt, bacteria. It's so gross, <laughs> but it's also organic. Our human body is in constant symbiosis with this metal and glass box, this device, this thing. It's a cyborganic extension of ourselves, and it's also biological, metaphorically. So in the winter of 2015, Google commissioned our studio to create an accessory for their modular cell phone project it's called Aura. Their idea was to turn your phone into a set of components that you can mix and match. They had plenty of partners to make the standard modules like cameras and batteries. So they wanted us to create a module that no one else would possibly think of. They wanted something weird. And we wanted to make an artwork that would increase mindfulness of our relationship to our devices. So we intend for this work to be a provocation. So this is a water bear, or tardigrade. They are microscopic creatures that have a reputation for being very tough and strange. He's cute and horrible. He's organic and robotic. So our idea was a tiny aquarium, a drop of water with a self-sustaining ecosystem filled with water bears and other creatures like rotifers and all the food required to support them. We wanted to make our phones literally organic. So the main challenge, you know, besides putting water inside a cell phone on purpose, was to cram a powerful microscope into a thin package that is the size of a postage stamp and do it on this new untested platform. We had to invent something. So here is one of the first images that we captured using a prototyping rig that we built. You can kind of make out the water bear, but it's very blurry and there's kind of this ring or halo around it. We get these visual artifacts because light was coming onto the micro microscope from many different angles. So we designed a mechanism that piped the light in one direction and tried a variety of collimation techniques, including microperforated sheets and fiber optic plates. We tested different lighting scenarios in an effort to make the image as sharp and satisfying as possible. But our final design used a technology called micro lens arrays. It's a plate of tiny bumps that act as lenses, and we use a software to reconstruct the cohesive image from all these fragments. And we design a precision optics assembly that uses lasers to calibrate. Our industrial design for the module has this pulsing, glowing dome on the outside, which evokes the incredible living microbiome inside the device. We wanted you to feel like there was a tiny universe inside your phone. Now, we had lots of ideas about how to interact with the creatures, including chat apps and costumes. But it turns out that these weren't necessary. Instead, we just needed to respect the miracle of the water bear. Every time you turn on your phone, you would see a live feed of the microbiome and just simply noticed the tardigrades. These perfect water bears existing in this larger, complicated system, they are part of this universe they cannot possibly comprehend. And wouldn't your relationship with your phone change if you knew they were inside? So I'm only the Sancho Panza in this, this Quixotic project. This is the team of talented artists that do the lion's share of the work. But sadly, Google canceled the entire cell phone project right before we were about to kick off the manufacturing process. So I have a challenge. Find any picture that really, really blows your mind. It could be a tardigrade or stars or someone you love. Set that as your background image on your phone so that you see it every time you turn on the, the, the device. If you do this, you will have a constant companion that I hope reminds you that you are a miracle. You are also just a perfect little water bear in this amazing, complicated universe. Thank you.